we've already been over which is the best pistol in episode 1 and the best SMG in episode 2, so the question for episode 3 is what is the best sniper? We're going to include everything from the BK-18 to the SVD in this list. So before we carry on, it's important to understand all the sniper scopes in the game. This will significantly impact your choice when using a sniper. So we have the PU, Hunter Scope and then the PSO. The PU has a magnification of 3.5, does not have a variable zoom, but does allow for easy access to the iron sights, can be zeroed anywhere from 100 to 1300 meters. The hunter scope has a variable magnification from 4, 8 and 12 and can be zeroed between 200 to 800 meters. The PSO scope has a 4x zoom, does not have a variable zoom but allows for easy access for the iron sights and can be zeroed between 100 to 1000 meters. The PU is my favourite but it's all down to personal choice, the minimum 200 meters of the hunter scope can sometimes throw me off and cause me to miss close shots. So the BK, a single shot rifle, we're going to work out its fire rate by timing how long it takes to shoot 5 rounds and then applying the same math we have used for the rest of the guns. The BK-18 takes 16.532 seconds to shoot 5 rounds, which then gives it a fire rate of 0.302 rounds a second. It has a base damage of 55, a DPS of 16.61, a reload speed of three point one eight five seconds and a mag size of 1 and we get a DPM of 996.6 and weighs in at 3 kilograms. The BK shoots the 7.62 by 39, takes the ghillie wrap attachment and can be sawn off with a realistic range of less than 200 meters. Here we have the SKS, a semi-automatic rifle. Here is its fire rate. The SKS takes 1.316 seconds to shoot 10 shots, which then gives it a fire rate of 7.8 rounds a second. It has a base damage of 55, giving it a DPS of 417.89, a reload speed of 9.823 along with a mag size of 10 rounds. This gives us a DPM of 1883.2. Weighing in at 4 kilograms, the SKS shoots 7.62 by 39, takes the PU scope, ghillie wrap, a bayonet and has an internal 10 round mag with a realistic range of 600 meters. Next we have the CR527, our first proper sniper. Here is its fire rate. The CR527 takes 9.229 seconds to shoot 5 shots, which gives it a fire rate of 0.5421 rounds a second. It has a base damage of 55, giving it a DPS of 29.815, a reload speed of... 5.26 along with a mag size of 5. This gives us a DPM of 1139.05 weighing in at 3 kilograms. The CR527 shoots the 7.62 by 39, takes the hunting scope, ghillie wrap and has a 5 round mag with a realistic range of 800 meters. Here we have the Mosin, my personal favorite. Here is its fire rate. The Mosin takes 9.664 seconds to shoot 5 shots, which then gives it a fire rate of 0.517 rounds a second. It has a base damage of 110, giving it a DPS of 56.87, with a reload speed of 6.374 and a mag size of 5, which then gives us a DPM of 2057.61, weighing in at 4 kilograms. 
The Mosin shoots the 7.62 by 54, takes the PU scope, has a 5 round mag, takes a ghillie wrap, bayonet, compensator and can be sawn off with a realistic range of 800 meters. Next we have the M70 Tundra, also known as the Winchester. Here is its fire rate. The M70 takes 10.235 seconds to shoot 5 rounds, which then gives it a fire rate of 0.4885 rounds a second. It has a base damage of 110, giving it a DPS of 53.735, a reload speed of... Five point four five one, along with a mag size of five. This gives us a DPM of two thousand one hundred and six point five. Weighing in at three kilograms, the M seventy shoots the point three eighty win, takes the hunting scope, ghillie wrap, and has an internal five round mag with a realistic range of eight hundred meters. Here we have the Blaze, a new weapon to one point oh six. Here is its fire rate. <laughs> The blaze takes 19.298 seconds to shoot 10 shots. Keep in mind it's shooting two rounds at once. You're able to do this by clicking X on PC, which then gives it a fire rate of 0.518 rounds a second. It has a base damage of 110, 220 if you have it on the double mode, giving it a DPS of 56.98 with a reload speed of... Four point eight four one, allowing for two rounds, one in either of its barrels. This gives us a DPM of three thousand four hundred and twenty-one, weighing in at three kilograms. The blade shoots the three oh eight win rounds, takes the hunting scope, ghillie wrap, and has a two-round mag capacity with a realistic range of eight hundred meters. Next, we have the SVD, a absolute beast. Here is its fire rate. <laughs> The SVD takes 1.513 seconds to shoot 10 shots, which then gives it a fire rate of 6.61 rounds a second. It has a base damage of 110, giving it a DPS of 727.1, a reload speed of... 4.431 with a 10 round mag which then gives us a DPM of 11,099 weighing in at 4 kilograms the SVD shoots the 7.62 by 54 takes the PSO scope, Castang scope, MVG scope and Cobra sight as well as the ghillie wrap and as of the latest update the normalized suppressor and has a 10 round mag with a realistic range of a thousand meters. Finally, we have the VSS, one of the quietest guns in the game and in all honesty is a shit sniper and best used at close ranges. Here is its fire rate. The VSS takes 1.067 to shoot 10 shots which then gives it a fire rate of 9.37 rounds a second. It has a, it has a base damage of 95 giving it a DPS of 890.15 with a reload speed of 3.753 and a 10 round mag which then gives us a DPM of 11,827.5. Weighing in at only 2 kilograms and the VSS shoots the 9x39 subsonic round, takes the PSO scope, Castang scope, MVG scope and Cobra sight as well as the ghillie wrap with an internal suppressor and has a 10 round mag with a realistic range of 300 meters. This is how the sound of each gun compares, it's hard to say which sniper is the best as they are all down to personal preference but if we had to pick one we'd obviously go with the SVD then closely followed by the Blaze as it has the option to deal 220 damage in just a single shot. The Mosin and M70 are both adequate rifles but are pretty much as good as each other, it really depends on who you ask. After the recent VSS buff it's now an adequate rifle, it does a good amount of damage but it's hard to snipe with as it has a slow moving bullet. So that's it for this video and if you enjoyed consider joining our discord linked below, we'll be going over assault rifles next week.